Type refers to letters, numbers, or any character inside a font. There are a few options in the Type section of the Preferences menu that allow you to change the manner in which fonts are handled by Photoshop. The Type tab in the Preferences menu is really simple, and we get there either by selecting Preferences Type, that'll take us right there, or by hitting Ctrl or Command K, and then just selecting Type. For those of you on PC, you're going to find the Preferences menu inside the Edit menu rather than inside the Photoshop menu because you guys don't have a Photoshop menu. So, let's talk about Smart Quotes, the first option up here. Real simply, it's going to be easier for me to show you this than not. On the left here, these are Smart Quotes, and on the right, those are regular quotes. Pretty straightforward. If you have Smart Quotes selected as the option that you want to use in uh, Photoshop here, anytime that you make some quotes, it'll make them smart quotes. Whereas if we go back up here, select preferences and type, and we turn that off, then when we make some new quotes, it's always gonna be these typical, I don't know, kind of down arrow looking things, rather than the smart quotes here on the left. All right, so that's that. Back into the type menu. Next option is show Asian text options. This wouldn't really benefit me because I don't speak any of the Asian languages. But if you do, and you find yourself using Asian characters, then that might help you and you can switch it on. I like smart quotes, so I'll switch that on. If you're making your career in graphic design, then you're going to come across several files that are given to you by other graphic designers. You're gonna to need to change them or update them. And enable missing glyph protection is an option you wanna think about. Essentially what this means is, if you're given a file that uses fonts that are not installed on your system, you have one of two options. Photoshop saves all of the data pertaining to that font in the file, so you'll actually still have that font to work with. However, if you want to change any of the words in that font, you either have to cut and paste letters, or you actually have to go out and find the font. Uh, enable missing glyph protection. Photoshop will change the font to something similar, but unless you have something really similar to the font that's being replaced on your system already, it's going to give you something almost completely different. So I always turn it off because I just want to use the raw data. I don't want to, I don't want to change the font, which could entirely throw off the composition. So I leave that one checked off. Uh, show font names in English. Uh, again, I speak English, and that's my my main language. So I'm going to leave that checked on. Uh, again, if you don't and you find yourself using options that are outside of English, go ahead and switch it off. Font preview size, small, medium, large, extra large, or huge, um, that refers to this. When you come up here in your text menu and you see the preview over here on the right hand side, that is what we're referring to when we're talking about the font preview size. So the way we change that is we go back up here to the preferences menu, drop down to type, Font preview size will say huge, just so you can see the difference. And suddenly our preview is enormous. There's no question what these fonts look like. So that's basically it on the type menu. Uh, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.